Hello from Chicago, Alan Nuckman, high above the trading floor at the CME Group, talking in energy, focus on crude. Crude cracked 51 today, highest level since May, that's when we were at that 52 top uh, before the decline down to 42. So this level took out the 50, 80 high that we saw last week and Monday and Tuesday. So that was kind of a triple top that we pushed up through. Third time was a charm. Ended up finishing here at about 50, 70, up 75 cents. That's a percent and a half boost. We're now trading a November contract that uh, is the front month and the others off the board. So what we saw today, back-to-back -to -back builds in inventory. We had the EIA numbers come out. They added 5 million barrels uh, to inventory. So that's two weeks in a row of 5 million barrels added. But, the big but, the market doesn't seem to care. Uh, this uh, U.S. inventory has, has shaken off what's happened with the storms in this, in this inventory build. The price has not reflected this much. You would think that it would add pressure. Not so fast. Uh, this was twice uh, what the market was expecting as far as the market build. So it's a disconnect now with uh, Harvey and Irma behind us. Um, and it's a third consecutive inventory, uh, weekly inventory uh, positive number. Now, Thirdly here, we have little reaction to Hurricane Maria. Obviously, Por Puerto Rico is getting rocked by this. Uh, not having much of an impact on gasoline prices. That's what we have saw the last couple of storms. Gas shot up to the high 178 for wholesale gasoline, the futures contract. But now we're sitting right around the 165 level. So no spike here from this, this third storm that's uh, come in the last couple of weeks. And it's as steady as she goes, uh, looking at uh, the gasoline market which sometimes has a reaction to uh to this disruption so it comes back to price um and uh, we've seen a power up from 47 dollars at the end of august to 51 so nearly a 10 percent move here in the in the last few weeks essentially straight up now importantly that 47 as was the midpoint of that before mentioned uh, 52 to 42 range that we saw back in may so once we got above that it's been holding ground now we want to see it sustain above this psychological 50 level, watch 50 on a weekly basis, and then look for 53 on the upside, which is a $3 move, uh, that $47 to $50 range that we traded in for six weeks, on top of that 50, so 53. Again, it comes back to price. Let's focus on the price. The market's shaking off some of these fundamentals that could be interpreted as bearish, and you're getting some strong momentum, continuing new relative highs in the crude oil market. And I'll give you a PS, by the way, it's not just a crude oil market that's gaining momentum and has some uh, positive movement here. Looking at natural gas, natural gas has continued to kick up uh, after breaking above $3, and uh, that's up at multi-month highs as well. So to summarize, crude up, up, above, up to $51, highest level since May.